first step, I guess, was uh, was ordering the components in, involved in it and, and the planning process. So figuring out what components I'm going to use. The car came as a as an operational electric vehicle, so it could be driven right away and didn't have any solar components. In the front of the vehicle, we've located the uh, forward structural support that holds the, like I said, the right and the left side of the car together. So these are going to be necessary to secure, firmly secure the panels once we uh, start mounting them on the top. Uh, now that we've located the, the uh, structural members of the car, we're now going to penetrate them with a drill bit to, uh, to mount our, uh, our steel on. Okay, we've, uh, we've drilled the holes in, to, uh, to mount the rails. Now uh, we've located this, uh, this 80-20 material that we're going to use to, um, to hold the panels in place. This is slotted, so we're going to use carriage bolts to, that will fit securely in the slot to, to anchor it to the, to the vehicle. Now that we have these located here, we can uh, use these same slots and these same carriage type bolts to secure the panels in these, in these uh, slots. So we're mounting the third and final uh, panel here on the front of the vehicle. One thing I wanted to mention was it's really important to uh, remember that these produce power all the time and uh, treat it that way, that, that there's uh, electricity flowing out of these things. Make sure you are safe with the power coming out of it. We have ours safe off with electrical tape. In the rear of the vehicle here we have the uh, 48 volt system battery pack. So uh, what we're going to have to do is choose our panels and choose our charge controllers so that they match our vehicle we're working on. Up front here we have our 48 volt system. So we're going to series connect these two forward panels and we're going to use the factory uh, installed uh, connectors for this. These two now are series connected and now the output of these two panels will produce the 48 volts for the rear battery pack of the car. Okay, this is the rear panel. Now they, remember this is the um, circuit that's 24 volts only. So here we've got a single panel we're feeding directly into the vehicle and it's going to go to its own charge controller. And then we had to get into the electronics, whatever, mount the uh, actual uh, charge controllers in the back of the vehicle. So now what we're going to work on is uh, connecting the charge controllers to the batteries so that the uh, energy from the solar panels can get into the batteries and recharge them. This is where you need to use the most caution in the whole process is working with these batteries. They store a tremendous amount of energy, so we've got to be really careful not to uh, short them as we work on them. And that's it. The solar-powered car is built.